Hello. Now, there are lots of debates online whether dark mode has or doesn't have to be an MVP feature when building a new app. In any case, that is what we are going to do in this episode. We are going to add a toggle to change the mode and the CSS from light to dark. So here is an application where I've already previously built this kind of feature, where I have a toggle in the user's profile settings to change the theme from light to dark and vice versa. But uh, importantly, you would also want to, to allow the user to use the default uh, machine uh, color scheme. So if you go to appearance in uh, any machine, you will have uh, nowadays the automatic color scheme, the light or dark. And you would want uh, your applications to also change the color scheme based on your default color scheme. Let's see if uh, something like Twitter does it, for example. I will change to dark. And you see, Twitter has changed uh, everything to dark mode. I select automatic or light and it is uh, light mode. So you'd want your application to have uh, this kind of uh, switch also based on the default color scheme. And uh, the media setting prefers color scheme does exactly that. You see, I'm on the MDN docs and uh, they also have this kind of switch. So I can manually set it to light to dark or use my machine's default. So let me try change the color scheme here. I will change it to light. You see here it is light and auto and it's also uh, light dark, but I can also manually set it to light, for example. So um, let's see how we can do this kind of uh, change in Rails application. So we will use either the OS default or manually make the color scheme light or dark. And we have a basic Ruby on Rails application that I have just created where we're going to do it. How is it going to work? We will have uh, an option to use the default color scheme. Uh, I can select light, so you see now uh, I have the preferred color scheme set to light, but uh, I can manually set it to dark, and it will be dark. Then uh, if I have manually set it, then no matter what I change in the appearance, it is always going to be dark. Or I can set it to light, and no matter what I change in the appearance, it is going to be light. But if I set system default, then it is going to inherit from what we have in our uh, whole system. So how can we do this? Well, let's check out the main branch and build this kind of feature. Git checkout main rail server. Okay, so here I have like basic a new Ruby on Rails application where I just have a scaffold of posts. Let's uh, open the application in code. And uh, yeah, so let's start by uh, using this prefers color scheme. So we will set the color scheme based on uh, the default uh, machine preferences. So we have this kind of setting, prefers color scheme, and let's add it to our CSS. So I will go to application CSS, and I will add this uh, setting. And now let's have a look at what we have in our application.html.erb. So we have our body. And uh, let's say, so by default, uh, body, uh, yeah, if we have selected dark, then body is going to be, uh, let's say the background will be black and the color of the text will be white. Let's see if uh, this works straight out of the box in our application. So I will save everything, go to the Rails server and uh, let's refresh. Okay, so it is black at the moment. Let's have a look at our settings. I change it to light and you see it is light at the moment. And in many cases, you could uh, actually stop here. But uh, let's continue and uh, allow users to have a manual toggle so that they can toggle the light and dark uh, theme from inside the app, as you can do it in the MDN docs, for example. So uh, to do this, I would uh, maybe have a few uh, links. I would have a link to, uh, let's say, light and uh, we would have uh, some kind of path like set theme path and uh, theme would be light. Then we would have uh, the same with the dog and would have the same with the system default where we would uh, just not pass any param here. And uh, let's see if we can display these uh, three links. Okay, so we need to add a set theme path. I will go to our roots. I will create a root with, for example, a get uh, method because here we well, added the links to 
so it will get uh, set theme to uh, the controller that will, will name theme uh, and uh, name the action like update, for example. So let's go to our uh, controllers. I will create a new controller theme controller class theme controller that inherits from application controller and let's add this update action def update and we will uh, save the preferences of the user in the cookies so i will say cookies uh, theme equals params theme and we will redirect the user to the previous page that uh, he was uh, looking at so uh, it would be something like uh, uh, redirect to and uh, either request.refer uh, or uh, root path. Let's see if uh, we manage to save our theme params in our settings. Let's go to our application and uh, yeah, let's just also display the uh, cookies theme. Let's say uh, cookies theme. Let's see if we have it set. Okay, so we don't have it set now. I will uh, set it to light. And it is set to light. I will set it to dark. It's set to dark. I'll set it to system default and it is removed. Let me set it from another page. I set it to dark. You see, we are directed back to the page that we were on. So not to the root path. That is nice. That's what this uh, redirect to either or does. And uh, yeah, looks uh, fine. So we are now setting our theme preferences inside our application that can override the system defaults but uh, we will need to also update our uh, css so at the moment we set the body to a dark background only if uh, the preferred color scheme in appearance is dark but uh, it should also work if uh, it is light or automatic and uh, we have selected the uh, we have selected the uh, light in our yeah light to dark in our cookies so uh, to be able to, to toggle this based on cookies we would maybe add an additional uh, class to our body like uh, class and we would add the additional class cookies theme So this way would, would be adding either a class of light or dark. Let's see if it works. I will set a dark and inspect. And you see body class dark. I will go and make it light. And uh, we will have body class light. And system default and uh, no class on the body. Okay, so uh, let's uh, also say that uh, if the color scheme is uh, dark, uh, but if we set body dot light, then we are going to override this with uh, something like uh, background uh, would be let's say silver or white, and uh, uh, color would be black, so color of the text. Let's see if this works. So uh, I will refresh. I will set the dark. Uh, yeah, I will set uh, it to dark here. But I will manually set it to light here. And you see, uh, from inside the application, I am uh, overriding the default appearance uh, that we have set in uh, our well general settings. If I set it to system default, you see it is black. So this way. Uh, from inside our Rails app, we can override the default uh, uh, preferred color scheme. And let's do the same for uh, the light theme. So, for example, the appearance is set to light and uh, I want to make it dark. Let's uh, add something very similar for light theme. I will say preferred color scheme light and uh, we are going to just swap these. Here we'll have body dot uh, dark, and we are going to use these, and vice versa. So uh, by default, we'll have a silver background with black text, and we have 
if we have manually set that we want it to be dog in the cookies, then it's going to have a dog background. Let's see if it works. Okay, so now uh, I have appearance set to light and uh, I have manually selected it to be dog. So it is dog. I go back to system default, it is light. I go to dog manually in the system settings and it is uh, dog. So, okay, it works. Yeah, basically we made it work the same way we have it in the MDN docs. It can be either the OS default or light or dog in our application. And that's uh, basically it. Just one last thing I would uh, do here, you see, each time we repeat all these colors and instead of repeating these colors, we could just use some kind of uh, CSS variables. So I would say something like uh, root and we could have uh, something like light background color would be silver and uh, light text color would be uh, white and we could do the same for uh, dark so dark background color would be black and uh, uh, dark text color would be white and now we will not have to repeat uh, all these colors here. We can just use these variables that we have set in one place. So uh, here in the background, we will say variable. So we had black and we'll have uh, variable and it would be a uh, dark background color. Here we'll have variable dark text color. And we would repeat the same uh, here and uh, for the light we would have variable uh, light background color and variable light text color and we will repeat this here and now let's just do one final check to ensure that it works so I'm going back here I uh, have the appearance set to dark I have the appearance set to light it does update I will uh, manually set to dock it works i will go to dock it's still dock i will use system default it is dock i will manually set light and it is light so yeah everything works and that's basically it thanks for being with me and see you in the next one